Hi guys, I wish to take you through Visio Basic on how to create a student management system. Basically, what we shall be learning today is to create the foreign program. And what the program does, uh, you can take the roll number of a student, like 7000. Then you take the name of the student, like now the student is Don Richai Jr. Then you take the address, like 34 and that one Nyeri. Then phone number, you type the phone number uh, of the student that way. Then you choose the student is male. Then you can choose the date, like now you can choose 14th of December. Then department, like for instance, department is computer science. Therefore, in, once you choose department, the units will be uh, as stated here. If you choose a different department like civil engineering, you see different courses will be uh, enumerated. Then uh, after doing that, you can choose a unit. Then I can choose semester, like I can choose semester four. Then from there, I can upload the student photo, like I can go to... Uh, where my photos are then take my student like now for example uh, this is done you click on open uh, let's choose uh, not, uh, one, the one with the smaller pixels like for example mm, just scroll uh, choose this one hopefully it has a small that way then one, once you do that you just save the record therefore you will get data is saved well then after doing that uh, you can just refresh and then for instance you can opt to add another member uh, in the same system this is for 4500 this is uh, janet james then the address of janet is that one nairobi then the phone number you can key in the phone number of Janet, then Janet is female, then date of birth you can choose from here. This is just for demonstration purposes. Then you choose the you choose the the yeah, she is from software engineering. Then for example, software engineering have not put let's go to computer science, BBIT, then choose semester, semester four, then upload the photo. This is uh, you can take this one as Janet that way. Then once you do that, you can now uh, hit on uh, save. Then you'll be in a position to see that my details have been saved. Therefore, when I refresh this one, you can be in a position to see that uh, my system is working. Uh, data is being displayed just like uh, I would wish it to uh, be displayed. Therefore, this is what I will be taking you through, that is in uh, Visual Basic. And still, you can be in a position to find the record right now. You have 4500, you hit on Find. Therefore, you can see this is uh, Janet. Right now, 7000, you can hit on Find. Then you see this is John Gichai Jr. Therefore, let's start on creating this system together. We shall create this one from scratch. And therefore, uh, you just launch Visual Basic. Once you launch uh, Visual Basic, you go to standard.exe, then open. Then we shall be working on our form. Therefore, this is our form here. Uh, from here, we need to populate the, uh, the that is the, the property sheet here. This is where we shall be doing our uh, stuff. And um, that means we shall be in a position to uh, change whatever we want. Like for, uh, for example, for this form of ours, we can just come to this point and start and write students, uh, student management system using VB. Then, uh, after doing that one, uh, we shall be in a position to create the graphical user interface. And our graphical user interface will be guided by our access database. Therefore, we can just go to uh, start and just go to start, then open our access. 
then we just go to uh, new then blank database then in our blank database we just go to desktop we create a new folder you can call it our student mis then we click on ok then this database of ours you can just call it a um, uh, profile profile table this uh, profile T, uh, tbl then we just click on create then after um, doing that one we need to have the feeds here therefore you can just go to design view and then once we are in design view we can create our row number row number number that is our primary key then you can go ahead and create name 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 then you can go and create date of birth you can go ahead and create gender you can go ahead and create uh, department department then you can create course you can also go ahead and create semester semester you can also go ahead and create address address then we can create the phone then we can talk of the photo now when you talk about the photo we need to to store the url or the address to the photo therefore this one we need to have it as memo should be bigger then this table of hours you can just call it uh, profile uh, that we profile then you just click on uh, um, that is we can create you can uh, call it profile then that's sort of uh, i think is fine we just click on okay then this is our database where data will be kept remember it is in our database then from here we need to uh, to create the gui that is the graphical user interface you can adjust change this color here uh, to a different color then save it therefore we need also to save this project of ours to the same folder if we go to desktop then we get our folder our student mis double click therefore this is our form we can just call it our form student profile that is the name of our form then our project is uh, student student pro you can call it student pro then now from here we need to go and uh, create our graphical uh, user interface and therefore for that case we can start by creating a uh, drawing the uh, the label uh, i think the best thing is to uh, give it a framework if we can have a framework here then from here we uh, we drop our text box one two three four we need four text boxes therefore we can just align them there the way we have them that we, we can arrange them in terms of we have one then followed by second one followed by the third one followed by the fourth one uh, then we need, also need to be space economic therefore these are our text boxes this is where we shall have our name we shall have our date of birth search therefore we have that one then after having that one we need to also include um combo three combo boxes therefore one two three we have combo boxes if we have one combo box there for the semester we have the second one there for the course then we have the third one there for uh, that is for the department then after doing that we also need to include uh, uh, date of birth and therefore uh, we need to go to project then you can just go to references then uh, uh, you need to add some uh, features there are some references that you shall be using for uh, uh, reference that is for connect and such 
therefore you just scroll to uh, Microsoft this one Microsoft Active X data object 2.8 or you can select 6.0 or 6.1 depending on the on the uh, Windows then we go back project we go back to components we need to add components that we shall be using throughout our project and therefore we can include Adobe this one ADO you can also include uh, uh, this one common dialog this one we shall be using this one uh, also that one then we just go down to Microsoft Windows we shall also need some components you just make sure you have Microsoft Windows common control uh, uh, this is 2 6.0 this one make sure this one is ticked then you hit on apply then cross now once you do that you realize that uh, uh, there are some uh, let's increase this one there are some um, controls that have been added here for instance we have added the date picker and therefore we can just draw the date picker here this is for the year of birth we have also uh, have the uh, included another one called common dialogue uh, this one will be used uh, you can just draw it here we shall be use that one for photo to display the photo for the student therefore make sure you are very keen on how I am doing it then from there you take the picture box this is the picture box for the student you can draw the picture box here this one you can just bring it here it will not be displayed then from there we can now put on the ribbons we have the ribbons there therefore this one is now we can have this one as the uh, name that is the terror or the number or or the roll number the way you would like it to have we can just have the roll number then after having the roll number here that way we can also have another label we have four labels here uh, therefore we can bring that one can bring that one can bring that one there then we shall be in position to name them accordingly the way we want them displayed before you shall have that one then this one here this is the name of the student this is the name name of the student you have the name of the student then we also have the mm -hmm, we have the, the not the gender the gender we shall use these ones if we can bring this one here for the gender option one and option two this one will be for the gender therefore the fourth one here we can have the name telephone number address therefore this can be the the phone number phone number then this one can be the address address of the of the student that way then after having done that we shall have the gender somewhere here this is option two this is option one therefore we just go to caption the first one is male second one is female female therefore those are the uh, the, the ones that you shall be using there then you can have one two three four we can copy then paste therefore after doing that you can just bring them here you can bring them here you can bring them there good therefore this one is um, this was the roll number now it is the we can have it comp one as department therefore this is department can you just call it department in short then this one is the course course then this one is the semester 
the semester semester but we, then this one is the date of birth b o b that is the date of birth of the student therefore after having done that we remove this color here we highlight all of them holding shift or control then you just go to back color here you can assign the same color you have assigned the the background then still go to font then board can have it as eight but board that way therefore you can see now it's uh it looks nice you can still do the same to this go to back color of the system then you can remove that one good therefore there we are we can we can make it bold to make it better uh, that way then we are still developing our GUI therefore we save this one then if I run this is what I have so far uh, this is what I have this is what we have so far but we also need to make sure that this one is not displayed and therefore you can just cross that one we need that one then you can also set how our windows will be displayed window state here uh, we can have it as uh, maximized so that when we run it is automatically maximized that way then after having that one we need uh, again now to put the that is the the buttons the buttons that we will be using if we just come to this point you hit this button command button Therefore, you can draw the command buttons uh, that we shall be using. Uh, we need several. Therefore, you can draw them using uh, drag and drop. That way. You can still have uh, several drawn on our system. Yeah, that way. We draw the second rust. Yeah, we drew the rust one now. If we can draw the rust button here. Yeah, that way. We shall name them as we proceed. Therefore, we, we shall make sure that these ones are empty. You just come to this point here. Text, when we are in this point. Um, when you are in this point here, okay, this point, you can just click on text where the text box is. Just go to where text is this way. And then you, you backspace, you click, you backspace, you click, you backspace. See what I'm doing? You click, you backspace. Therefore, for that case, you have no text inside here for this one you backspace you can also backspace that one you can also make sure that you have a backspace to that one therefore when you do that one you'll be in a position to uh, have uh, make sure that when I run this one these ones are blank only the date picker that will have the Okay, therefore, let's go on and uh, continue. I want us to rename this one. Now, like, we can just go to CMD here. Uh, we see this one. Then this one, we can just call it add new. Then we go to capture to... That is the, the control name. I want us you to see where. Therefore, this one is add new then you can go to this one you can have this one as save then here we call it save the same then you can have update update then we go to this point here with the caption therefore you also have update that way then you can just have this one as for scrolling this one you can just call it next the same case here next then this one previous previous 
the same case here previous then we can have refresh 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 then we can have reload reload you can have it here as a reload then after having uh, those ones you can we have reload you can have delete delete you can also have yeah, here as delete delete you can add the last one here to find you can just go to this point you hit this hammer toolbox then you draw you can draw an, a one a one button here to search record you can just call it find then here you can call it find record then after having this button here to find record that way uh, we can have the upload button here to upload photos and therefore we just come to this point and uh, type this one this is this is upload then we shall have this one as up road photo up road photo then uh, if I run our system so far, uh, you can see that our system is still uh, nice, looks nice. Therefore, we shall be now putting functionalities on this system of ours. And for that case, we can reduce the size of our property sheet. This one for our property. Then scroll down. Uh, make sure that our buttons are, are actually attractive. You can just take the shape and draw the that one there then we shall have these buttons of ours modified well so that we can now go straight to coding then we can be in a position to make sure that our system is attractive and functional therefore those ones those are how those ones look like you can do the same to this go to board 10 you can have it as 10 then okay there we are therefore our GUI looks like this. We are now uh, set to go to uh, find, uh, to doing our uh, other part. Therefore, uh, let's now start by uh, doing the form road. Therefore, you can just uh, click on any of these ones. Like now, if I double click the form, it will take me to form road event. And um, to start with, we shall start by typing the that is the the display of uh, combo boxes how combo boxes uh, will be displaying data and therefore for that case we shall write type that combo one dot uh, add item combo one dot add item yeah whatever we want it added this is computer engineering then we can just copy this copy this then paste to avoid you typing so much if we can still have that the next one is not computer engineering but uh, we can have something like um, uh, agriculture economics agriculture uh, economics then you can also have copy these two now we need several we paste them therefore the next one can be something different uh, like for example we can just have uh, education education then you can have the last one here you can have it as medicine 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 Therefore, after having that, what I am actually doing here, when the form roads, if I save this one and load my form, combo one should display that one. You see, therefore, combo one 
will display the courses that I have uh, typed there. That is what I'm doing. Then from there we go and see what combo three will be doing. Therefore, combo three dot add item, uh, add item. Mm, it will display semester one, semester two. Therefore, combo three will display uh, semester one. We can copy this for combo three. Therefore, for combo three we paste there. Com paste 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 therefore we have semester two semester three semester four semester five we can have that one therefore when the form rolls now combo three should display semesters but combo uh, one that is the department should it display that one now we need to also uh, type what happens uh, in combo 2. Therefore, what happens in, in combo 2 should be typed in combo 1. And for that case, you just come to this point, then choose combo 1. Therefore, we can just choose combo combo 2. Uh, that is combo 1, sorry. Uh, combo 1. Then it is combo 1 when we click. When we click, what happens? Therefore, it is not when you change. You remove this one. Therefore, combo one, when we click, what happens uh, in combo two? And therefore, what will happen? Combo two, uh, combo two will be cleared. Therefore, it will be combo two uh, dot clear. Then you shall come here and say if combo, if combo two, um, that is if combo one dot text uh, equals to this one's computer engineering equals to computer equals to computer engineering what happens therefore if uh, okay then if then if our combo one equals to uh, computer engineering then what should be added in combo 2 therefore you shall have combo 2 dot add item what will be added in computer engineering we shall have uh, computer hardware hardware then we shall also have copy this copy this one there we paste therefore we shall also have computer software software displayed also we shall have computer technician computer technician technician's course displayed there then else else again else if combo one dot text equals to now the next course the next course is this one if it, it is agriculture economics if it is agri culture economics what happens then we can just copy this uh, to avoid wastage of time typing just edit therefore copy and see therefore if it is agriculture economics then you can have um, agri culture and soil then you can also have agri water engineering here or hot culture you can we may have hot culture you can also have uh, in this field you can also have uh, water water engineering as a sub topic then we can also copy this or we have uh, four parts therefore you can just include the, the this one here else if if it is education if component is education education what happens then you can have something like um, 
you can have physics physics you can have chemistry chemistry you can also have something like mathematics 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 rastry uh, we have that one if combo one is equals to medicine if it is equal to medicine medicine what happens then you can have something like uh, in medicine can have uh, pharmacy in medicine you can have uh, something like dental dental let's just have that one then you can also have something like um Mm, surgery good then and if and if let's see what have we have so far we save that one then uh, run therefore when i come to this point and choose computer this one object required let's see we have probably uh, written some sparing mistake combo should be combo not comb therefore we will always correct you therefore department if i choose this one you see what happens if i choose computer engineering then computer hardware computer software computer technician is displayed if i choose medicine then pharmacy dental surgery yeah etc will be displayed the agriculture economics then the courses under that one will be displayed therefore so far you see that one is complete that is the uh, the coding part of um, the code that is the coding part of that one is uh, done then we can do the coding part of the photo that is how uh, the, the that is how the the photo will be uh, displayed therefore what you need to to have here is to make sure that uh, your common control that is the common control uh, this one now that the one we, we pressed here mm -hmm. this this icon here that is the common dialog control let's just go to the object i am talking about this one this one is pressed here but it is not it is usually not visible therefore what you you need to do it is to double click the upload button then once you double click on the upload button here we shall type our code here we can just cut it take it up here so that you can see vividly what I'm doing. Therefore, here this is where we shall type your code. Therefore, we shall type uh, about that one. That is common dialog dialog one dot. Uh, that is dot show open. That is show open. That is the first line you write. Then again, common dia common dia rog one dot filter that is dot filter that way dot filter equals to what equals to jpeg then you put a pipe at one then or dot jpg there because some of the photos will be jpg the others will be jpeg then from there what happens you shall have uh, a variable there that will be referenced as common dialog one that is common dialog one uh, sorry dot filter now name of the photo then from there we drew picture box picture dot that is picture one dot uh, that is dot picture equals to road equals to road picture picture that is the now referenced now before i get out of this we have to declare this variable here and therefore you just come to this point here and there then we have to declare uh, that one as string before you just come to this point and then say dim str as string uh, that way 
that one must be declared up there. Therefore, when I run this one and click on this one, you see now it's opening. It is trying to get where my pictures are. You see now, I can be in a position to upload a photo uh, that way. But still, these buttons are inactive, meaning still we have not done uh, much. Therefore, let's carry on. After now having uh, done that one, we can do the database connection uh, so that we can be in a position to uh, feel really uh, we are doing a good job. Uh, for that case, we uh, shall just come to this point here, dim, dim con, that is connection, as we shall use, we, this time around, and not use adobe, but adobe uh, dot, if we shall use adobe dot connection, that way, then we shall declare our record source, dim rs, that is our record source as new uh, adobe, oh sorry, as a new uh, new adobe dot uh, record set that way therefore you have to initialize these variables so that you can uh, call them somewhere in the code then from there you need to do the connection inside the form road therefore I shall do the connection here this is where, where this is where I will type the uh, the code for Connection. Therefore, you shall just type it as con uh, con dot open. Then you open our connection. Therefore, our connection will be provider provider equals to Microsoft Microsoft that is Microsoft dot dot jet uh, uh, or db db dot 4.0 then data source this is where your database is located data source now data source equals to where your data is located we shall paste that one later then we finish with the semicolon then persist dot m m d b that is microsoft database therefore that is our connection then after having done this this code uh, remember you can get this uh, example in my website exactly the way it is therefore don't worry about the codes you will copy the codes from my website i will upload this one exactly as it looks like therefore you can still connect our record source and therefore our record source dot open uh, dot open then we initialize sql select or that is select or from our table name uh, we also need to go to our database and check our table name what is our table name therefore yes let's see our table name is profile you see our table name is profile and therefore we also need to do that one therefore go to your database and then we are selecting or from our from profile that is our table name from profile uh, then we will just type con that is the connection we, we declared that one uh, we choose this one as the first option there dynamic comma then you choose a crop mess that is pessimistic that way therefore this is what we uh, we type here remember as i have promised you you can get all these codes in on my website the way it is the way i have written it so that you can practice using it then after now having done that uh, select profile that is our table now we can go ahead and um, uh, see whether data can it be added can it be added uh, to our database and therefore for that case after now doing the connection we can add other codes in our database like for example we can just add them here uh, let's just add them somewhere here i want to use this space so that it can be uh, well captured and for that case let's uh, type the code for 
uh, let's just go to our object view object we need to have code for add new therefore code for add new it is rs dot uh, add new dot add new then uh, we need to clear the contents of uh, whichever was there when you click on add new then uh, the content will be uh, displayed then the next thing to do there uh, we can also go ahead and um, uh, display text but, uh, therefore shall be displaying text we shall be clearing text from there therefore this one is for add new and that means when you type something then press add new that button will work but uh, since we have included clear sub procedure here let's have it here that is for the uh, clearing text that one will make sure that text is cleared as we go on and therefore we shall just have the the, the clear the sub clear that is a sub routine or a sub procedure for clearing and therefore it will clear text one dot text equals text equals to blank then text two dot text equals to blank that is empty it will just clear that one then you have the date picker the date picker will not be just be cleared like any other but will be displayed or set to a certain value if i can just write that this is the dtp picker dot that is our date picker uh, we call it the picker one dot yeah dot value value equals to date we can just give it to 01 stroke 01 stroke 2001 just to, to make sure that when you see that date you don't know that it has been reset by our code then we have option 2 dot value option 2 dot value should be equals to false should be equal to false that is male should be equals to false female op uh, option 1 should be equal to false or so it should be equal to false then after doing that we have combo combo one dot text uh, equals to empty then you have combo two dot text also should be equal to empty then uh, what will happen to a picture box our picture our picture picture our picture one dot picture dot picture should be equal to road picture to blank therefore picture also should be blank therefore this is the sub program or sub routine or sub uh, uh, that is the the, the sub program for uh, for clearing and that is the one that I have called here. That means when you click on add new, this one will be executed as together with this one. Then uh, on the other hand, we can still go ahead and um, uh, put a reload, a reload sub function. That one will make sure that uh, uh, the, the system is refreshed to capture new therefore just go to view object then it can just go to reload therefore we can just have that one for uh, that is for reload now for reload we shall not actually uh, have a button to to be clicked we shall remove that one we can just have a, a sub program therefore we can just have the sub reload that way then what happens our record source dot open uh, we will do an sql we will do select we will do select or from our table our table is profile that's how we put it then comma our connection we check for our connection then we shall choose this one as dynamic then this one as pessimistic Therefore, that one will, will be the reload, the reload sub procedure. Then, on the other hand, we shall uh, also include uh, another one for refresh. Therefore, we shall also be uh, doing some refreshing. 
wherever our system or wherever we save something, then we can uh, do uh, a bit of refresh of, we shall be refreshing the data by hitting a button. Therefore, just go to our object. First of all, we have agreed we remove this one. We shall have be left with refresh. Therefore, refresh button. What will we refresh do? It will cross. It will cross the current running data. That is, it will recross the record source. Then rs dot open. We go to our table and do some uh, something there. Some SQL select uh, or we are selecting or. or from our table is called profile then from uh, our table profile it will also work with our connection uh, just as we have done to all others then that one that is for uh, refresh then we are not yet done uh, with this one for refresh we can still add more lines of code now for this one we just take if uh, not record source dot end of fire that means end of fire then the record source will move move next it will move next then it will run display it will what will happen here after it does this it will display the data therefore we shall also create another sub procedure code uh, display to display data. The so feature I have that one else. Then uh, what will happen? MSG box to give a message. To give a message that uh, mm -hmm, not no record found. That way, no record found. Then you can terminate that one with and uh, if. Then before we can now go and see how our database is. Uh, doing we, we have to make sure that data saved in uh, our database that is in microsoft access is being displayed uh, it is being displayed by uh, having to write a sub procedure called display and then that one will be uh, very important therefore you can just write sub sub display and this is the one that we read data from the uh, data or display data from the that is from the database therefore this one we shall have to write that uh, text one that is our roll number dot text equals to where that is our record source we read our record source it will read our record source roll number then the next one is text to text to two dot text equals to the record source it will read it will read the name then uh, our date picker date picker one dot value that is dot value uh, will be equals to our record source our record source uh, that is our record source dob date of birth dob that's why it will read then we shall have if our record source gender if a record source gender equals to male equals to male then what happens then it will check option it will check option one option one uh, dot value dot value equals to true it will be equals to true else else uh, else option two dot value equals to true then and if and if we continue combo one dot text dot text equals to our record source department uh, the department then our combo two dot text equals to our record that is uh, semester semester 
then our combo three dot record source uh, that is sorry our combo three dot text equals to our record uh, to read our record address sorry not address but uh, combo three reads semester combo two read, reads courses this reads courses course then we have a uh, text for the for text for dot text text dot text equals view object then we go to save button and double click then we can write the code for saving rs dot uh, feeds then what are we saving the feed name the first feed name is uh, roar is roar number and then this one is roar number dot we cross the bracket dot value therefore dot value equals to text one dot text that way then uh, we can copy this to have the other one if we can uh, copy that one then we paste this one that one the next one is for name that is for name and therefore this is for for name name is text two then you can have for the um, that is for the date of birth therefore this this is for date of birth d or b now for the dob it is equals to date picker one yeah it is date picker one dot value this is not dot text then from there we can we can have uh, the other one the other one is for um, and this for department for department therefore for department is combo combo one copy this for the combos the other one is for courses for course for course is combo two then paste for semester that is for semester for semester for semester is combo three that way then you can just go and uh, uh, do the other ones for male and female that is for the gender and therefore for dot feeds then we have gender remember gender you have option one and therefore for gender equals to option one dot uh, caption therefore that is for gender we have that one dot caption and therefore you shall just have have an e function up here say if option if option one dot value dot value uh, equals to that is if option equals to true equals to true then this feed should be displayed as that one else it is feed to that will be active and for that case else you paste this one else this one should be a true instead of one therefore else it should be uh, that one that is option two dot text then from there and if therefore this is the for the save button then from there we shall have a message box msg box the record is saved the record is saved successfully successfully you can have maybe information then the heading 
saved done save save saving done that is the title then rsc dot update the system the program will be will update the system therefore let's just see what we have roll number we can have at 500 then you can have down each i then phone number then you can have the address then department we choose uh, computer engineering computer hardware then i'm in semester one then date of birth let's just work with any for now then mail then i can choose my photo there then save for us see uh, what is not working for just run it again first of all add a new then you can have the road number don't get chain for number then you can have an address then department of computer engineering computer hardware semester one uh, that one can remain mail then have that one then save very good therefore saving done the record is saved successfully this is what i expected then we still add another guy uh, now what you need to do is to realize that uh, you need to make sure that when you hit new this one is cleared and for that case we have to finish on coding the other buttons so that you see now the operation will always be successful therefore let's continue and uh, finish up with the other buttons to eradicate all errors that um, are supposed to uh, that we, we don't actually need to get therefore for that case let's have uh, to code the other buttons uh, then we just go to view object then we can now like code the the we had done refresh mm -hmm. profile this we had done refresh that is good uh, let's go back let's go to next yeah let's try to look at uh, how the next button looks like we need to have it uh, fixed so that whenever the record is being navigated to we can be in a position to have the code therefore this one is rs uh, dot move dot move next and then we shall have display that is display that is whatever we did then we can go on have the previous button uh, done uh, for the previous button we shall have record source dot move previous that is move previous then it will check if not uh, if record source is not at the beginning of the file then uh, sorry then it should it should run our procedure display then display else it should go back or, or go to the next record else let's go to the last one work with the last one therefore if else if it's not that way then it will go to the last one or and run display and if that is for uh, that one then we also need to uh, code for other buttons like delete update but meanwhile let's just see whether we have we, we are for we can go to this part again then we can just um, uh, look at the code for update therefore the code for updating this one is just the code for saving only that we shall remove the photo part if i just go to where the code for saving is uh, just check save where the save is this is the code we, re we wrote for saving therefore we shall have the same code here 
this one we just copy this uh, then go to where just go back to view object then double click update paste it there therefore the update button should just be having the same only that we can comment this one therefore by removing by putting apostrophe there there that means this one will not be executable and then you can just change this one to uh, data that is record that is record is updated updated then you can just add the heading here that that is update update is done that way therefore basically this code is used for editing shall use it for for editing then we can still go ahead and look at the that is the code for delete this one um, I have just put it here therefore this is the code for delete uh, the first thing confirm message box it will ask you do you want to delete yes or no then it will give uh, VB critical information confirm that is the title therefore if confirm is VBS that is this VBS here then it will delete the record and then it will give a message record deleted done else if the message is not uh, deleted or else if the confirm is vb no because you can see it is vbs no then it will say not yet deleted and then it will be in a position to uh, cruise therefore basically uh, you will get all these codes uh, for free on my website so that you can be in a position to see all that i have taken you through there that is the connection uh, how to assign that one then we are left with the cre uh, creating the find button we can um, uh, create that is the the find button so that we can be in a position to see if uh, a document or if a record need to be found within no time or within for example uh, a second or so how can you accomplish that Therefore, first of all, we can just run our system so far and see how we have. We can add 1000, just add a guy, Peter, then uh, his phone number, then his address, Mumbai. Then we can have, we can choose the department education. He's taking chemistry semester five then the, for the date you can choose the date then mail then you can just go and uh, take his photo from the system then you can just save therefore student pro data is saved now once you save the data that way uh, you can go previous in the position to see the the ones that uh, i have fed that way these are the ones that we have fed then uh, you can still refresh the, the the data here we shall work on this button but for now i want us to uh, make this one functional like for example if i type if i'm in a certain record i type 1000 then i hit this button uh, it should load the 1000 that is the student 1000 therefore let's see how to go about that one we just stop our program go to view then object then double click find therefore in the find we can just put a, a comment find code uh, remember that one is a comment it will not be executed therefore this what the code uh, code we do is rs cross it will cross the the record source then uh, just go to rs.open then we have our XQR statement and that is um, select select or that means or from our table is called uh, uh, profile profile that is where we have to use the keyword where where now our role number 
equals to uh, it is our roll number equals to what plus our text one which we, which we are using dot that is our text one dot text that is the text that we shall be using plus now the information in that text that way mm -hmm. then we put con then another comma um, shall have this one we shall have select or from profile where this is the keyword where for where our rule number is just see from here where our feed is rule number our rule number equals to Therefore, uh, this this is the code for find. You can just uh, have it. Uh, this is how it, it will look like. So therefore, the code we select from a table called profile in our database, where it will check for the row number, where the row number is text one. Therefore, whatever you type in text one will be displayed by find command, and. Uh, then from there we can just go to this one like for example we have a student with the code 1000 therefore when you type 1000 and find this one you see now this person will be displayed if we have eee -E -E, then find you see now this student is uh, found therefore when you add another new student when you click on add you see it empties this by the help of the clear sub procedure and then it enables you to uh, work on a new record uh, for instance you can have 2000 then this time around we can have Berinda and uh, we have her phone number then the addresses Dubai then you can have uh, taking a medicine pharmacy then semester four then you can choose the date her uh, date of birth there female then upload the photo so you can just search for the render that way then you save the record therefore once you do that if you go to previous uh, now uh, since you have uh, done that one you can just uh, rs fix that and if we wanted to refresh before we go back like now let's search 2000 good there we are therefore you can see now uh, we have been in a position to get the find record here and uh, we can also try like try to get a record like eee -E -E, find then we delete this Therefore, you see, confirm delete. Do you want to delete? Yes, the record is deleted. Therefore, when now we refresh, we try to get that record. You see now the record is not there. Uh, it has resorted to an error message. Therefore, if we get another student here, uh, the student will be found in the, in the database. Uh, since the record is there using the that code of uh, that is that is the the code for um, a find then uh, we can make sure that um, if for example I click now this updated the update is done and record is updated okay basically that's how you can come up with a a student management system using VB. My advice would be you just go to my website. I will drop the link. I will drop the link of my website below this video so that you can be in a position to get the codes. The codes are all there. Exactly 
the way they look like. Therefore, you can practice. You can copy paste them and uh, adjust them to help you come up with uh, a good system uh, in future. Therefore, I'm grateful. Remember to subscribe if you haven't uh, subscribed and also remember to share my videos to other students or to other friends so that they can also run. Therefore, thank you very much for watching. See you in my next video.